Imam al-Ghazali, rahimahu Allah ta'ala, عنه, he makes a very important point in his famous book, Al-Arba'oon fi Usul al-Din, where he speaks about um, the type of fasting that we are to engage in. And he mentions that there are those who fast simply with their stomachs and their private parts. And he says this is the majority, usually, most people, they abstain from food and drink, they abstain from intimacy. He says, and then there is the fasting of those who perhaps have more consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their hearts where they fast not only with their private parts and their stomachs but they fast with all of their limbs they fast with their eyes from that which is prohibited they fast with their hands from that which is prohibited they fast with their feet from going to that which is prohibited and so on and so forth and ideally this is the standard that we should be fasting at our fasting should lead us to abstain not only from the halal but from the haram and of course we should be doing this outside of the month of Ramadan but during the month of Ramadan especially if I am fasting from food and drink but I'm backbiting I'm fasting from food and drink but I'm watching haram or listening to haram or engaging in haram then my fasting is not really going to benefit me and then he says the highest station of those who fast the creme de la creme perhaps those who fast with their hearts from everything but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they use the month of Ramadan to completely attach to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they abstain from anything and everything that does not remind them or lead them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can a person do this and they're working and taking care of their family? They try to do those things for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at heart and if we can try to achieve something similar to that where we're constantly reminding ourselves about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the month of Ramadan when we come out of the month of Ramadan we will be changed people and we will be idhnihi be people of taqwa mm.